All right, so last time we were here, we looked at a simulation, but a very simple one, and where we were only looking at each time we did the experiment, we were just looking at success or failure, right? Okay? Okay, so this time, though, what we're going to do is we're going to continue our look at simulations, but we're going to look at a simulation that involves multiple trials, and that's how we're going to get our, percent, our, our probability by using multiple pro trials. In other words, okay, we're going to be trying to get, it doesn't matter what combination of things we get, we just need to get the right combination at the end, right? So remember last time we talked about having the three children, but one of them, but we had to have that one circumstance be true, right? One of them had to be a girl, and the other two had to be boys. Otherwise it was a failure, yeah? Remember? So this one is slightly different because this time we're going to continue to try over and over until we get what we want to happen. All right? So what we're going to do is here's our scenario. Are we ready? What we have is we're going to be buying cereal. And each box has a prize in it. Because everybody everybody knows you only buy the cereal for the prize, right? Yeah. So, each box has a prize in it. There are six different prizes. Okay? Eight songs? No. So, there are six different prizes, right? Okay. So what you get, so you might buy, but you're not, you're not going to get, you don't know what's inside. So we don't know what's inside. So we don't know what we're going to get when we buy a box of cereal. So do you think that if I just bought six boxes, I would get all six prizes? No. Probably not, right? It'd be very unlikely. Now, could it happen? Yes. Could. All right. Could happen, but not very likely. What if I bought 10 boxes? Do you think it'd be more likely that I would get... That all six prizes if I bought 10 boxes? Yes. More likely, but, more likely, but really. still pretty shaky, right? What if I bought 50 boxes? Do you think I would get all six prizes? It's more likely. Likely. A lot more likely. So, so from what you've told me then, my, our, our hypothesis, our idea is that the more boxes we buy, the more likely we are to get one of each prize, at least, at least one of each prize, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the grocery store and buy every box of cereal on the shelves. Oh everybody brought enough money? Everybody brought a lot of money? And everybody... Which one of you is going to drive? I think maybe I drive. Decent. All right. So, I'm all trust so, so you see that there are some practical... Guys, there's some practical issues with that, Right? Do you see? So what we're going to do instead is we're going to use a simulation. How many different prizes are there? Six. So six dice. dice are perfect because you have six sides, right? Okay. Now, I'm going to make a huge mistake and give you all of each one so that you can work on this. Individually, I wouldn't would either, but I'm doing yeah. it. Because I need for you to all be able to do this. Okay. So. Guys, all right, so here's what we're gonna do. Now we need to set up this experiment some way so that we can, so that we can measure what's going to happen. Remember, we want to continue rolling the die until we get, guys, yeah, thank you, stop rolling. Until we get every one of the prizes. How many prizes are there? Six. Six. I don't know what they are, but I could just name them. Prize number what? One, one two, 
three, etc. So the best way, so the best way to organize this is to make a chart. Now pay attention, guys, because this is critical. You will see this again. Yes, you're drawing this in your books. You will see this again, okay? So we have prize number one, prize number two, prize number three, prize number four, prize number five, prize number six, and that's okay because I need to draw some lines in between them anyway, okay? So I've made a chart with all the different prizes and so what I'm gonna do is use the numbers on the dice to represent those prizes, right? Now, each time I try this, I'm gonna call that a trial. How many trials are we doing? Okay. Now, we're gonna just do, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. You really need to do at least, we'll, we'll do six because in the interest of time, maybe we might do eight, but we'll see. All right, so this one is going to be trial number one, etc. Notice I've put another column at the end here. This is the total. All right, so in other words, how many times did you roll the die to get everything you wanted? So what you're gonna do inside the chart you're going to make a tally. Do you remember tally? Yeah. So you have one, two, three, four, and then cross for five. Right, remember that? So you've done, you've done tallies before. So we're gonna do this one. We're gonna do this first one together, okay? So what I want you to do is, starting over here in this far side, okay? I want you to roll, the, roll, the, roll your die and what do you get? A four, okay, so we get a one or four. Then so who's next over there, Caitlin? Okay, okay, I got three. Three, so we put a tally at three. Poppy? Two. Two, tally at two. Tiana? See, Tiana, sorry. We put the same as you. So yes. Six. Pardon? Six. A six, okay, who's next? Me. We go, yeah. Roll on the paper and not, don't go crazy because we need to. I got a, a three. A three. So we get another three, right? Okay? Four. Four? Okay. Who's next over there? One. A one? Mm -hmm. Okay, next. Three. A three? Next. Oh, yep, that's you. Four. A four? Who's I next? Got six. Sequoia got a six. Okay, back there. Two. Two? Okay, who's next back there? Two. Another two, okay, who's next? Um, another two. Another two, okay, who's next? Five. Five, boom. Oh, Why am I happy about that? Oh, yeah, I now have all the prizes, right? So we're just gonna keep making tallies, keep going until you get all the prizes, okay? okay. We're good? Now. Now we just count up how many, how many boxes of cereal we had to buy to get them. And how much was it? 14. 14. So in that particular t trial, we had to buy 14 boxes of, of cereal. <laughs> My brain. 14 boxes of cereal before we got what, what we needed. Okay? So here's what I want you to do. Okay? Because in order to really get a good number... We really need to have lots of trials, okay? Which is why I've given you each a die. Die. So, one, uh, so what you're gonna do is, every one of you is going to do a trial, okay? Trial. So, every single one of you is gonna do what we just did as a group. So you're gonna roll the die until you get a, a one, and a two, and a three, and a four, and a five, and a six, right? And then we will collate those numbers. So make your own tally. 
Roll your die on a piece of paper, please, so that you don't drive me totally insane. And um, make sure you're not flipping it through the air and all that. So go. It works. Keep going, guys.